Okay, this is bacon number three. And I'm doing things just a little bit different this time. I've checked the internal temperature of my bacon at several different spots, and it's all at 150. I've uh, Everything up to this point in the recipe is exactly the same as in the other two videos. I, um, I'll put a link up to those. Ooh, smoky. To show how that's done. But um, this time what I'm doing different is... I'm uh, going to dry this bacon off and then I'm going to hang it. I've got a special hook that's called a bacon hook that's specially meant to hang these things. Now the reason I'm hanging it is I went to a smokehouse in Tennessee called uh, Benton's Country Hams and they, um, I asked them about their method, I'll put a link to that here, and they uh, do everything the same way that I do it except that after they're done smoking it, they hang it uh, for about 28 days at room temperature. And uh, that's what I'm about to do. Anybody that's seen my uh, Ethan Becker stuff knows about Benton's. This is the world famous Benton's. I thought we would uh, take a, a look inside here. Oh man. <laughs> Smells like smoke. <laughs> wow. The old, uh, what you need there, folks? What, uh, what would keep, I love your bacon and I love your sausage. What would keep to drive home? How far are you going? Iowa. Wow, bacon and bacon and ham. Uh huh. And the the sausage probably needs to be cool. It be in a cooler. Okay. Wouldn't have to be too cold today. Though. Yeah. Okay. Supposed to be pretty cold. What do you got hanging here? Well, I just making that ham our own side. Hams. That other bacon and scraps. Uh huh. Can I look at? Can I look and and see what you got? Yeah. Come back through here. Looks something good like over in here or over there. Yeah. So these are all just just country cured hams. You just yeah, just salt them and cured. salt them and dry them, and then yeah. it. Uh, and you do the bacon pretty much the same way. So so I see these are these are your pork bellies, and you just yeah, kind of. Them bones people brought their own haul. Okay. These over here belong to us. To you guys, yeah, and then uh, so it, you salt it, and then uh, we salt it, smoke it, and, and smoke, it. and then it and then it hangs and, and kind of cures here yeah. for a while. Yeah. Okay, how long has this place been open? 1947. Wow. You count better than I can, probably. That's a long time. What are you using for your smoke? We use hickory. 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 Hickory and a little bit of apple, not much apple. And is it a is it a cool smoke or a hot smoke? Well, it's just, we run a two twenty heater and a okay and a stove in there, but it's yeah. not real hot. But just a slow and low yeah. type of okay. I'd describe it as uh, temperature wise, like seventy degrees in here or so. Yeah, I really don't know if don't know it yeah in here. Yeah. So I I bought. Uh, four of the bacons and half a dozen of these uh, country ham steaks and I, I got I talked him into telling me how he does his bacon. He, they, they take the pork belly and they salt it down for uh, uh, 10 days and then from there it'll hang in the cooler for a little bit depends on how long uh, then it goes into the smoker uh, and it smokes it at 220 and then uh, when it's done, then they hang it in that room uh, for usually about 21 days, he says. Okay, um, this is a bacon hook, and, and I bought this one off of eBay. There's a website, sausagemaker.com, that uh, sells these two. Uh, and actually, you can get your uh, pink salt and other supplies from them. But basically, um, how you do it, these, these ends are a little bit sharpened and it's curved kind of up so that when it's hanging that the hooks won't lose the meat. And so what you do is you just, you just put this down here and then you just press them in. And then you take your bacon and 
you hang it up from something sturdy. Uh, and this bacon I've got over some, uh, if you look down, I've got it over some newspapers. You see it's going to drip a little bit um, as, the, as the melted fat kind of runs off of it. I dabbed off as much as I could with a paper towel. And the rest of that will solidify here very shortly. Uh, in 28 days, I will show the next step. We're out at about uh, 22 days. I was going to wait 28 days, but I can't live any longer without this awesomeness. I have my uh, bacon hanging outside to cool down. It seems to work a lot better if you use uh, cold bacon when you are slicing it. Okay, let's see how this looks on the inside here. It's, ooh, firm bacon. You ready? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Ooh, now it's time to slice it. Now I've got a, a meat slicer here that works great for this sort of thing. And I'll slice some up here. Oh yeah. 